and it has been a while since I made a YouTube video. I need to pop the trunk and get my tripod. Hey. I need to organize this. It's not, it's not the prettiest looking trunk right now. So it's been a while since I made a YouTube video. So uh, before I go any further, it's been two years since I made a video. So if this is kind of a little rusty for me, I'm sorry. I kind of want to jump back into this now that I'm actually buying stuff for this car. Um, kind of a rough year last year, ever since I got this. But now things are starting to pick back up. Um, obviously the COVID-19 thing isn't going so well right now with a lot of people. I'm one of the lucky people who are still working. And, you know, things are going through right now are going great. So hopefully this stays this way. But uh, yeah, I decided to try making some videos again on this thing. And uh, so yeah. So today we're going to be installing the Speedform GT500 spoiler. Uh, it's pre-painted to match the color of the car. I was deciding either between black or deep impact blue. I was going to go black, but the reason why I didn't is because I didn't know if I would actually like it in the long run. Um, I've always liked how it looks on my mom's car. She, she has a deep impact blue uh, Mustang V6 uh, convertible. And it has the GT500 spoiler on it. So ever since then, I fell in love with that spoiler. I think it looks best on these cars. Yeah, the California Special and the Roush look great, but just something about the GT500 spoiler and the simplicity of it just really sets it off for me. Which I actually think I do UPS dropping it off right now. But, uh, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna start this thing off by taking out the factory spoiler and taking all this stuff off. And once it gets here, we'll start installing it and it should be an easy process. So uh, my dad will be coming out here to help out a little bit. Gotta get the fry tool. This is gonna be just fine. I think this is all I need for right now until I get into actually taking off the bolts and the spoiler. So since this is gonna be a little time lapse for you guys, I'm actually gonna be playing the weekend's new album because it is so good. I'm a huge fan. Sorry, I just had to put that out there. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. It should be a quick little easy uninstall of the spoiler. So, uh, sit you guys back on the tripod and uh, let's uh, get this going. <laughs> it's a 10 so 10 rather ratchet let's focus on this camera really sucks sorry guys uh, extension just to play it safe All right, so we just got the 10 millimeter nuts all undone. You just have to take off the whole carpet thing, which is down there. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at so far. I just grabbed the heat gun and I'm gonna go grab some fishing line and I'm just gonna use the fishing line to cut all the adhesive under there. And after that, it should be good to go. I'm actually gonna plug in the battery. I don't really think I need to explain this, but you just got the fishing line and go that way. So, yeah, gotta go plug the battery in right over there. So, yeah, I'll show you guys when this is all done. Should be pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what we do when it's all off and what we do to get rid of all the excess adhesive. So I can't remember if I said the battery died or not on the camera, but I just polished the deck lid up a little bit 
um, from the fish line and kind of scratch it up a little bit. So I was like, you know what, I'll just do a quick little polish on it. So now I'm just waiting for the spoiler, should be here in a little bit. But basically what we did to get off all the adhesive was using one of these wheels right here. I can't remember what they're called exactly. They're kind of like made out of rubbery type material. Um, they're like 30 bucks or whatever, but they work great. Um, basically we got that all up and then we used Goof Off or Goo Gone or whatever it is and cleaned up all the extra adhesive. And yeah, that's basically where it is. So. Once the other spoiler gets here, we'll go from there. Um, I think I'm gonna be selling this factory spoiler right here. I'm gonna buff it up a little bit and <laughs> make it a little new or shiny and new again. And yeah, but now it's time to wait for the other spoiler to get here. And we'll go from there. Guess that's Yeah, it matches pretty well. Pretty close. Uh, and there you go. Good to go. always Bouncing, going in.